أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This talk is about black magic. Those whom thinking they're under attack, the children are not getting married, their business not doing good, they're scared, they're frightened, somebody doesn't like them, somebody making them sick. Tariqah comes and teaches us, don't focus on the problem in life. Don't say, why is this not happening? Why is this not coming? Why what I'm asking for is not happening? Children are not coming out the way I wanted them to be. It wasn't about this world submitting to you, but it was about us, me included, me number one, submitting to Allah he doesn't want the kids to listen, they will not listen. He doesn't want us to have that work, doesn't want us to have whatever he doesn't want, it will not happen. And whatever Allah wants, it will happen. This Ayatul Kareem Allah say, nothing will happen, Qul, it's an order. Allah asking Prophet to remind his nation, nothing will befall us, nothing will happen to us except what Allah has decreed for us. Nothing, nothing means nothing. Nothing will happen to us except for what Allah has decreed for us. And to ignite its understanding, Allah is our protector. And then Allah tell the believers to put their trust. You should be worried about putting your trust in Allah not finding the problem and then trying to make a solution for the problem. So then the adab that tariqah comes and teaches is that whatever difficulty we have in life it's not about finding the difficulty, who's putting this magic on me? So now you broke this covenant, you thought there's something wrong and you're going to fix it. Why are you going to fix what Allah has already in store? You Allah didn't know your condition. Allah doesn't know what's happening to you, Allah doesn't know there's magic and jadu coming in your direction, you didn't get the job you wanted, you didn't have the desirable kids that you wanted, Allah didn't know that. Of course Allah knows everything but our inner nafs wants to resolve everything. We're not happy with sabr and we're not happy with iman, it has to be resolved. Because this is a day of drive through McDonald's. So Islam becomes for us like a drive through religion. I don't like this, I have to seek out somebody to fix it. What happened to faith? What happened to testing and sabr and patience? So this is now finding a problem and finding somebody who will take this problem around they find the magic man. We're gonna do some jadu and <laughs> fix all these things. You're now in the hand of the magic man mafia because then you're gonna find all the charlatans. As soon as you go to them, they're psychology experts, I have a problem, now you open the door. My kids are not functioning the way I want and my business not coming good. They're in the business of telling you, you have jadu, they never go to them and they don't say that you're clean, it doesn't happen. You go to a surgeon, he wants to do surgery, that's how he makes his money. 
he's going to cut you either way. Even if you're 100% good, he's going to find something wrong, I got to cut your nose off, it's too big, it's your ears are lumpy and bumpy. That's how he makes his money. He makes his money doing this magic bit. You have a problem and he's usually back home, far away from you. <laughs> Now you locked on, what's your problem? You state the problem, now he's got your inner psychology. Oh, you kids, oh kids that's great, I'm gonna really get these people because kids everybody cares about. And business and work, before you know it you've given them all your life story, now they have something on you. And they begin to, they have some nefarious energies around them. And they begin to send that energy towards you. If you didn't have a problem you are guaranteed to have a problem now because they are also the problem makers, no solution, they don't solve problems. Remind me to say why? Because Ayatul Kareem, who am I to compete with Allah If Allah made you sick? You're supposed to come to me to be healed? Allah's like, I didn't know that my servant was sick or are you renegade? I send him one way, you compete with me a different way. I sent him to you in financial difficulty and you made du'a to enrich him. I sent him with difficulties in his family and you prayed to resolve all their difficulties. You didn't think I know what I wanted for my servant? Ma'ahlil iman never interfere with Allah's will. They're not here to be a ilahi, la ilaha illallah. They're not a minor god to a greater god, they're God's servants and their servanthood is to remind you, submit to Allah Instead of looking at your opponent and say, okay this, this is a demon behind this guy, this is from the uncle of that guy, he's doing like this, doing like that. No, no, you don't need to even know who's doing what because Allah is saying He's doing it. In His kitab and what He has written has already been written. Who can protect you? Who can be your mawla other than Allah Who can resolve what Allah doesn't want resolved? No one. And anyone who claims is a dajjali fake understanding and they'll create much more difficulty in your life than benefit. So then the true servants of Allah who trying their best to be servants of Allah to get the satisfaction and ridha of Allah because that's why they do this. They're not here to change the will of Allah and pray on everybody, change their sustenance, do all sorts of miraculous things. Those are worshipping things of different cultures but servanthood to Allah is, Ya Rabbi how can I make you to be happy with me, serve my creation. They're lost, teach them about guidance. They're devoid of love, teach them of love. They don't have a coordinates and, and direction of where they're going, give them and encourage them with good talk, with good manners, with good character. Point them in the right direction and leave the rest to me. And keep praying for them that my ridha and satisfaction to dress them, that their bad characteristic to bring down Ya Rabbi so they can feel your coordinates, feel the love that you have for Sayyidina Muhammad So then it teaches us Every difficulty we have, don't seek out somebody who's going to try to take it away. 
Those are big mafias. The wealthier you are, the more painful your experience is going to be. Oh, it was a big one. Every time we had a problem, he would call and say, You have to make 300 qurban. And that one, he owned a farm, qurban. So, when you're talking to him, he's making the 300 qurban. Then he sends the meat to be sold in the market. And then he takes the leather from the skin and sends it to a leather shop. Oh, oh, oh now now you have more problem, you're not to make 500 qurbans, <laughs> you're not gonna get out. And it was like a multi-million dollar industry. Levels of the Heart, Lataif Al-Kalb by Shaykh Nurjan Marahmadi There are subtle energies and realities that are dressing the heart. This unique masterpiece invites readers from all faiths to step forward and begin the process of unveiling the true spiritual realities within their own hearts. You know when you go to Lone Shark, why we don't go to Lone Shark? You're never going to leave them. They're going to give you a loan and every day is going to duplicate, it's going to double. Riba is when you become exorbitant amount of interest that you can never get out of. There's no excusing it, there's no excusing of the loan, it just keeps growing and you're enslaved to that person now. So every day there's emails, I have this, I have that, I have this, I went to this pier, he did like this, I went to that pier, he went like this. Naqshbandiyatul Aliya, their training is that, come to us and now begin to pray. Learn how to make your wudu, learn how to make your tafakkur, learn how to make your contemplation. When you're doing all of that, most supreme is love Allah If you want Allah's love, love Sayyidina Muhammad Love Sayyidina Muhammad If Prophet takes your case, that's the only one that you have to worry about. You don't need any minor intercession. You need the major intercession first. So the shaykh should be teaching you how to develop your love for Sayyidina Muhammad If he's not, he's trying to introduce himself as that love. So that you think he's going to intercede for you, he can't intercede for himself if Prophet is not happy with him. So there's an order in which they should be correctly qualified. They don't get involved in Allah's will, they never tell you we're going to fix it, take it away. As a matter of fact when they pray they don't ever pray like that. Say, Ya Rabbi you sent the servant, I'll try my best to guide them to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad to make their tafakkur, make their contemplation. Why? So that when I get to know myself, I'll know my Lord. What does that mean to know my Lord? That I'll know what Allah wants from me. What is Allah expecting from me? Why is He upset with me? Why is some difficulty coming to me? Maybe He's not even upset with me, but why is difficulty coming to me? Because we said that at this cave, its guardian is Ain Kabut, spiders. What do people have fear of spiders? My son is scared to death of that. But Ankabut, why? Because the web, our life is about the web. Are we doing our practices? Are we doing our zikr and our mafil? Are we doing our salawats and our, and our awrads? If we're doing what Allah finds most beautific, then our life is this beautiful house of the Ankabut and Allah sends for us the flies that we need to eat. Like we said about the bulbul, are you coming to do hunting? 
you don't need to. The shaykh will train you, you don't need to hunt. You need to do your zikr, you need to do the awrads, you need to do the salawats, you need to do the practices so that Allah happy with you. Allah builds your energy, Allah builds your protection, builds your love, your faith becomes strong. At that time they believe with all their belief, Allah is happy with me and Allah is my protector. And whatever is coming is by Allah's will to make me stronger. And Ya Rabbi don't test me beyond my ability and Allah would just say, I never test you beyond your ability, you probably have an ability you don't yet know that you have. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger and white beard. We're all young guys with white beards, you think they became white from what, henna? <laughs> There's all these realities of this character, this goodness, this is based on faith. Our way is based on faith, development of our faith. We don't need to fear something, we have to fear Allah We have to develop our practices, develop our energies. That's why anything you want make salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad on the app are all the salawats. On the app are the books of Durood al-Sharif. When we say the Arabic salawat is all a book of du'a, 150% accepted du'as in Divinely Present. Take out the nasheed and begin to sing for yourself, it's as if praising immense du'as in Allah's Divinely Presence. Take out the Urdu, if you speak Urdu, if you like the sound of the Urdu and recite their all du'as that take away every difficulty, every magic, every type of hardship. Because Allah is your defender, don't run to the problem, run to the solution, Malik al-Aziz. When you begin to run towards Allah what's happening? If I run towards the devil, now it's a fight between me and him and he's probably a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger. Are you gonna take on that guy? No, what does your innocent child do? Runs towards Baba. The Baba's gonna give him a beating like you can't imagine if anyone comes. Imagine running to Allah's ijad. Running towards the Divinely Presence, Ya Rabbi grant me nijad. Allah will obliterate any shaitan coming to you, Ya Al Muntaqeem. So which way is our qibla? running towards Allah Not trying to investigate the problem because then you already directed yourself towards shaitan and now running towards shaitan, who did it, where is he, where's the location of this person did it, oh now you're deep in the hands of shaitan. And that's all shaitan wants to do is flip your qibla. That's why anyone coming after you, anyone attacking you, anyone trying to do magic to you, say, you got to take on Allah and, and the entire heavens. To, to resolve that because you're running towards Allah Let Allah send His arm again people because Allah is supporting you. Bi Allahu nasra naziza. Nasra naziza is right behind you, come on, come on please go, 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 be happy. If not for Allah's hand, Shaitan would have obliterated us. So they understood that this love, this ishq is just make the knot at home, every difficulty to go away. So when you have difficulties, the remedy is what? Focus on Allah and do your knot, do your salawat, do your zikr. When you want to love Sayyidina Muhammad don't give to somebody because they say, I'm going to take difficulty away. That intention is wrong intention, that's an intention in competition with Allah But find, find out of your love for Sayyidina Muhammad find his family and give them a gift. They don't take sadaqah, they're not poor, Prophet is supporting them. Find the family of Sayyidina Muhammad If you're ashiqeen and you're reciting these out of love, Find his family and say, for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad 
I want to give you a gift. You don't think that's beautific to Prophet That you give a gift from love. Not that you're asking something to be resolved like you want a transaction, that's like a transaction. This is a way of muhabbat and love, I'm just giving a gift of Mawlid because you're a descendant of Sayyidina Muhammad And my whole training from my shaykh was, keep making durood, keep making salawat, this is my medicine. You don't see the beatific nature of our souls like little children running to Prophet with all the azimat of Allah dress upon that reality and Prophet keeping everyone under the khilqah and guarding and protecting them, representing them in Divinely Presence of Allah Qulini kuntum tuhibbunullah fatabiyuni. This is the tabiyuni that we came we love. And then what Allah granted us as a reward, Yuhibbukumullah. Mm. If Prophet opened his khirka for you, know that Allah loves you because Allah's will is on the will of Prophet They don't love two different people where Prophet oh, I love this one, Allah said, I can't stand that one. It's the same love. And then Allah said, Ghafoor Raheem, ah forgive because you love, I love, we forgive that servant. We pray that Allah give us a deep understanding of this ishq and this love and the whole manner and the adab, how, how to make Prophet to be happy with us so that that love is true, it's proven and we begin to feel the love within our heart and every difficulty like being pushed away because of this love and the power of this love inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon. Wa salaamu ala al-mursaleen, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa wa siri surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.